So here's my foam board cub. It's a 40 inch wingspan. And uh, so I was going to show uh, a gentleman uh, exactly how uh, I've gone ahead and, and done the inside of this with no monoblock or, or, or any kind of a separate structure. So I'll show you. Well, first off, there's there's the landing gear. It's just an eighth inch wire. It just exits out the bottom of the fuselage, uh, just right at the leading edge of the wing. If you can uh, see where the, the notch is for the leading edge of the wing and the exit on the uh, landing gear. So anyway, sorry for the camera work here, but this is just kind of an ad hoc thing. You can see that uh, there's there's just a little way back down in there a little guide for the push rods and that's probably right around in here somewhere as you look at the whole plane anyway as you can see it's totally hollow I got one lateral brace for the back of the wing and that's where they screw in I actually have some little 256 nut plates in there so we're not using rubber bands but the landing gear uh, it's just a piece of wire that comes all the way up the inside and crosses over and goes back down the other side and you can see it there I think that big steel cross beam and so I've just surrounded the uh, the wire with a couple of 5 by 10 millimeter uh, pieces of uh, balsa wood on each side and, and heavily CA'd them onto the paper and uh, you know the landing gear gets bent a little bit uh, now and then for hard landing but I'll tell you this is one of the nicest little planes to fly uh, with an undercut wing in his foam board style uh, it's actually two pieces but they this heavier duty foam board cuts so accurately that uh, you can do some amazing things with they use it to build architectural models so you can see it's an undercut wing and uh, it's probably a half inch across to the width which is about eight inches by 40 inches a couple really small micro digital servos because they just had them and a carbon rod and the spars are also or the ribs I mean uh, it's a carbon spar the ribs are just more foam board so put some vinyl on it and you know looks pretty nice so real quick I'll show you a 60 inch version now this actually has two wires coming out this is in the traditional spot just just right at the leading edge or just a hair ahead there's another one just soldered to the uh, axle area and you can see that uh, let's see if I can get some light in here you can see the forward wire going across in the same fashion the 40 inch is done and then excuse the servo wires but you can see the other one just laid way back down and again CA to the inside with this foam board, I leave the paper on because it gives it so much more strength. And this is a heavier duty foam board. It's about uh, almost a pound per, oh, the sheets are about 30 by 36 inch. But you can get them a lot larger if you look harder. But uh, yeah, these foam board cubs, uh, uh, yes, and I had a hard landing just last Sunday, the first time I ever broke a prop on it. These foam board cubs are a lot of fun and they go together quick and they're cheap. Like that's six bucks for the 60 inch and... Uh, you know this little guy here's you know a lot less but uh it's it's not too tough uh, i'm running like for instance a uh, uh this is a uh, 20 if i had my reading glasses on is a 22 21 uh 16 um so it's like an axi equivalent and uh, just a 1300 uh battery in this and this is how i did the battery hatch real low tech but it works really good so, uh, and then there's a can that goes on the front for the cowling, but uh, I'm replacing that. This one is my first one that got beat up. Uh, there's also a twin version uh, that I made. So, anyway, I hope that helps out. Have fun. This is Doug in Texas saying, see you later.